morning, Abby. It is Thursday. And today, in the time before my first hour class started, I, a high school student, sat at my desk and read a book by Dr. Seuss, and I will not, never have, and never will regret that use of time. Beyond that, nothing super interesting happened. I didn't connect the dots about minions, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I did it wrong, because his feet, they... They, uh, they, they, they didn't look like feet. As soon as I get done making this video, I'm going to start reading a series of unfortunate events. And like normally here, I would make some sort of self-deprecating joke, like, a series of unfortunate events, did you mean my life? <laughs> but like, it's, it's just, it's, it's just too easy. Harry Potter spoilers! And Deathly Hollows, I've gotten to the point where Snape dies, so I know that the next chapter of the book is just gonna fill me with all kinds of sadness, but not as much sadness as I was filled with when I had to watch Percy Weasley finally turn around and stop being a prat, and then immediately have his brother die right in front of his face! I love my life. Because this book has been talking a lot about Rowena Ravenclaw, I've been coming up with a lot of headcanons about the house founders, which, I mean, if you know me at all, you know that this basically just means that I took one of the characters and I just, like, made their entire life just super gay. Specifically, I have this idea about Slytherin being bisexual and developing feelings toward Gryffindor, and this leading to him hating himself for a lot of reasons, mainly because he hates Gryffindor and he doesn't know why he would be feeling things for him, and because people back then didn't really know that LGBTQ plus people existed, so Slytherin probably thought he was just, like, going nuts or something, and this would lead to him bottling up his emotions and lashing out at people without meaning to, which would totally fit his character. Do you see it? Do you see it, Mr. Krabs? Do you see it, Mr. Krabs? Do you see it, Mr. Krabs? Why am I making this joke? This is terrible. Forget that happened. Wait a minute. We have a male Slytherin who develops contradicting feelings towards a male Gryffindor who is oblivious to the entire thing. I just unintentionally made medieval dreary. God dang it! <laughs> Why does everything I ever think of always trace back to this one pairing that I don't even ship? I also have this headcanon that Salazar Slytherin and Rowena Ravenclaw were in a relationship, and I think they would work really well together because they're both very brilliant young people, but Rowena seems like a kind of take-no-nonsense lady, so she would always shut down Slytherin's crazier ideas. However, once he gets too into the pure blood supremacy thing, she would dump him, which is a problem for Salazar because Rowena was like 90% of his impulse control. As for the other two founders, Gryffindor is so straight he may as well have been created from a linear equation, and I'm actually divided on Helga Hufflepuff, because, like, she's accepting of all types of wizards, so it feels natural for her to be accepting of people no matter what gender they are, so then maybe she's pansexual, but, like, at the same time, that feels, like, almost too simple, but she's definitely not straight either. So then from there, I'm thinking maybe she's a lesbian? Question of the day, what do you think Helga Hufflepuff's sexual and or romantic orientation is? Abby, and to anyone watching this video, be your name Buxbaum or Bixby or Bray or Mordecai Alley Van Allen O'Shea, you're off to great places, today is your day, your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. I'll see you tomorrow.